Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whisker Wims with me, Stuart. Today we're on the seventh uh, episode, seventh video from the Caden Heads Tasting Pack. It feels like this has been going on for ages. Uh, I maybe should have done it the way Gav done it and uh, grouped them together, have them in groups of two because uh, there's four, he's got four videos and there's eight whiskies. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, as always, uh, the intro to these, you can check the first video and I've also linked uh, Gav's reviews on YouTube to uh, every video that I've done. Uh, so today we've got Manic Moore, 14 year old, uh, number seven in the series. And as I've said before, I know it's cash strength. Uh, I don't know the ABV, the maturation or the price. I have had a fairly good um, experience with Manic Moore in the past. Uh, I've had some memorable bottles from Carnmore, from Caden Heads himself, uh, and it's, I'm trying to think who else I've had, uh, but they tend to all be sherry, uh, I'm trying to think, I have had a, a bourbon uh, Caden Heads, I'm just trying to think if there's been any other examples of, of brilliant um, bourbon versions, but uh, nothing comes to mind, I know the Karen Moore one was heavily sherry and it was good, um, but we'll get down to this, this looks sherry uh, to me, or... Yeah, I think I said sherry to the last one and it was, um, or one before, and it was a wine or something like that. Uh, but anyway, we'll get down to this, see the nose. The nose I'm getting like, um, a kind of Chinese spice mix, or Chinese spices, uh, something like that. There's... Yeah, I think it's sherry because I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting dark, dark kind of fruits. Um, getting a little bit of walnut cake. It's a little oily, a little um, viscous. Uh, the legs are quite long, but in the nose it feels quite, quite thick. Dates. There's like a blackberry, um, maybe just blackberries, I was going to say like a blackberry uh, kind of roulette or a blackberry kind of dessert. It feels a little spongy, um, <laughs> it feels a little spongy. Um, not too bad I know, I, I just feel um, it's, it's quite typical of a, of a, of a sherry whisky. I mean, I could be way off uh, and make myself look like an idiot, uh, which I easily and normally do anyway. The palette. Mm. A nice mouthfeel. Um, hazelnut chocolate or dark chocolate, like a hazelnut dark chocolate. Uh, something like Nutella, but maybe not like as sweet as Nutella uh, because it's dark chocolate, more on the bitter side, but still got that kind of hazelnut sweetness and that hazelnut nuttiness. Um, there's possibly cola cubes uh, on there. I, 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 hate, <laughs> I hate how generic this has become um, because it's just kind of sherry flavours that I'm, I'm, I'm putting here and if I'm, I'm off, I'm, I'll be off, that's fine. Uh, but that's what I'm getting, definitely Cola Cubes is quite strong with that. Uh, let me see what else there is. Mm. Yeah, like Praline. Um, it's a little strong. This might actually benefit from a, a splash of water. I just felt the, oh, it does have a little bit of a pinkiness to it. Nah, it's not, it's not overly pink. No, nah, it's definitely, it's got to be sherry. Um, what else in the palette? There's a, a little, I want to say like coffee cake or something like that. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm on this, this wall. Did I say walnut cake earlier? I feel like I'm on this spongy, um, cakey, uh, uh, route or direction. And that's just what I'm getting. But coffee cake or, or, yeah, coffee sponge, um, or just coffee and walnut, it just, for some reason that's just all I can think of and all I can picture, 
Um, the finish. Finishes. Let me just take a little bit more. The finish. I think it's me jump. Um, it doesn't appear to go on for a considerable amount of time. It could almost be like short to medium. Uh, you're just getting like the warmth left. Um, in the finish, mainly I'd maybe say like ground coffee, um, a little bit of kind of a little bit of like fresh barley or something like that. And there's more nuttiness. It's quite quite nutty throughout. Uh, nothing, there's not a lot of notes I've got here, uh, I feel like this has maybe been a little rushed, <laughs> um, but no, I don't feel like there's a lot, I feel like it's quite a generic whiskey, um, quite a generic sherry whiskey, which I'm a little bit disappointed by because I have enjoyed several Manic Moors before. Um, the, before I even look at the bit of paper, I'd expect this to be like 65, £60 pound or something. Um, a little bit of a buntness just on the end there as well, just as I took that last sip. Uh, but yeah, it's we'll, we'll, we'll see what the tasting notes say, the price, the ABV, uh, and we'll rate. We'll get down to my rating. Um, so Manic Moore, 14 year old, uh, all are also Hogshead since June 2021. Uh, so that's another two years and a bit uh, finish, because uh, they had the last one, what was at the port, which was 2020, so that was three years and a bit. Um, yeah, it's... I don't think it's overly sherry, I mean it's, it is sherry, um, it's evident I feel, and I'm glad I got that right. So the a price is £75, I'm £10 off, uh, yeah, the ABV is 52% on the dot, nose, uh, maraschino cherries, new leather and walnuts, I'm so glad I got walnuts. Um, I don't know about cherries, I don't think I got cherries, I, I know I said dark fruits, but that's so vague, um, and new leather. Yeah, possibly. Taste, chewy caramel chocolate bar. Um, yeah, I think I said I said some sort of dark, yeah, I think I said dark chocolate, but uh, I'm not really saying it's that caramelly. It is a little bit sweet, I suppose. Marshmallows and dried mango. Um, I can see where they're coming from, from with the dried mango, not really with the marshmallows. I've got no idea where the marshmallows is coming from. Uh, the finish, cherry bakewell. Cherry bakewell? Cherry Bakewell, almonds and golden syrup. Oh, golden syrup, they, I'm sure they've put golden syrup in almost every single one. Uh, or maybe I'm just, no, golden syrup in number two, golden syrup in number one. Uh, I don't know why I've done that backwards. Uh, maybe it's just the first two then. But it, yeah, the golden syrup seems pretty uh, consistent with the, these releases. But the Manic Moor, I, I got no golden syrup there. Uh, cherry Bakewell, they said cherry, uh, I wasn't getting a lot of cherries there, almonds and walnuts, yeah, it was really split hairs really, um, so, would I buy it again, I'll get down to my rating, I don't know if I've got a coin yet, mm. so, would I buy it, uh, would I buy it again, I, I, I don't think I would, um, I wouldn't rush out for it, uh, I'd maybe get like a 20cl just to spend some time with it, add some water and stuff, but I wouldn't buy a full bottle, I wouldn't want a full bottle of this, I've got plenty of sherry whiskey uh, and this to me is just another sherry whiskey. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think if, if you're in a sherry mood uh, and you want to try a distillery that's not uh, often um, highlighted, it's, it's not the, the most glamorous distillery in, in terms of things like, uh, I don't know, Glenfiddich, Dalmores or whatever, uh, it can be quite overlooked. So yeah, it's what, I suppose it is worth a try. Uh, and do I think it's worth it? I don't think it's worth £75. Um, unfortunately not. Prices are going up. Uh, I don't think this would have been £75 a year ago. Uh, maybe be £65, £70. I mean, I know we're saying about a 5 or a tenner, uh, But that's why I want to hazard a guess at this. Uh, because I'm sure the 13-year-old Manic Moore that I picked up in Bourbon from Caden Heads was £60. I could be wrong, could be remembering that wrong. But uh, £75 maybe just a little bit too much on this one for me. Uh, so it's a 1 out of 3 with it being recommended, I'd recommend it again, like give it a try, see what you think, but 
Uh, I don't think it's worth the money or worth buying a bottle. Um, so this time it's a whiskey bin. Um, yeah, I'll maybe spend some time with it, add some water and see if that changes it at all. And if it does, then I'll uh, do another video and review it again. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Worms. I'll see you later.